Well, going down along the Maumee River, you've probably noticed some work being done on the giant 28 silos at the ADM Grain Facility. But now the work is officially done on what is the Glass City River Wall. It's the nation's largest mural, and our Trent Croce was at the unveiling earlier today. Trent, what makes this mural even greater than its size? Maddie, for the mural measuring 170,000 square feet and requiring around 3,000 gallons of paint, the artists say it's more than a work of art. They say they want to showcase the past, present, future of the indigenous peoples who laid the groundwork for the economic development, which continues to grow throughout this region. During the 1800s, many tribal nations occupied the areas of Northwest Ohio, but were forcefully removed. But today, members of the Shawnee tribe like Jeremy Turner say it's a powerful moment to be represented on the largest mural in the nation. I don't know, it's hard to put into words the feeling to see your flesh and blood up there on one of those, you know, um, silos. It's those silos embodying what Turner says are more than just paint, but everything the Shawnee, Miami, and Dakota tribe have made as the foundation for the first farmers in the region. No one really thinks of us in a modern sense as we are today. Our communities are vibrant. We're still here. We're still, you know, our culture is strong. We're still doing all these things. It's why main artist and designer behind the mural, Gabriel Galt, says kept him and his team going to finally bring the project to life, even through the elements of the pandemic and weather. People wanted to give up. I wanted to give up, uh, but that just wasn't an option. We, we, uh, we pushed through and we found out ways to overcome the, uh, the downside. While Galt lives in Southern California, he says Toledo was the perfect place to take on his largest project and to add to the city's ongoing revitalization. Where do you find people who work this big? It's hard, you know, and to find local talent who can work on this scale is next level. One of those artists among the team, Eric Henn. He's an Ohio native and has relation to the Miami tribe. But to have the largest mural in the United States, that I've been doing murals for 35 years, and to have that title, that is really big. It's the mural where Jeremy Turner's son, Antandi Greyhat, towers over 100 feet high at just seven years old. And Tandi has a lot to say. Tandi, you're up on the largest mural in the nation. How does that feel? Uh, cool. Yeah. Urban Site, who was one of the nonprofit organizations behind the Glass City River Wall, says the project will establish a blueprint for future endeavors. Reporting in studio, Trent Croce, WTOL 11.